Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Dave here. Just uh, getting everything around to get over to the shop and start the Smitty Sled project. Uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, got all the plans drawn up and some good ideas for it. Um, so uh, we're going to get over there and see how things lay out and uh, just kind of take it from there. But looking forward to this one. Looking forward to getting out on the hard water. And uh, hopefully you guys are too. Hey, welcome back. Uh, tried to film a video on the way in, but apparently I didn't have it on the video setting. So uh, just had to make a stop at Cabela's here. And uh, probably couldn't even see anything. Better let these guys go through. So I just made a stop at Cabela's real quick to uh, see what kind of seating options that they had. And uh, now we're gonna go back and see how everything lays out. But it's pretty nice having a little Cabela's right in your backyard. Uh, makes making a trip for supplies a little easier. But uh, we'll get back to the shop and uh, see what things look like. Hey, what's up guys? I finally got my new phone so I can uh, make videos again. I was having some issues, as you might see in the other video takes, uh, but I got that figured out. So, didn't get the video making all of it, but I'm still not done yet. But just wanted to give you guys a little progress report of how things are going. Still uh, got to put my hinges on and I'm going to do a little few things inside. So let's see, nice storage. Hey, what's up? So, right now I'm kind of deciding between the treated lumber and untreated lumber because what I found, which many of you probably know, um, yeah, the treated, I believe, is like twice as heavy. So, I'm trying to keep this lightweight as much as possible. So, I might have to switch that up. I'm going to think it over tonight. We'll see. We'll see how it is when they all get together. But I'm definitely thinking it's going to be heavier. So I think I got to make some sort of adjustment. So we'll see. Work in progress, like I said. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just finishing out the sled and uh, I am kind of, I went with, uh, with the uh, unfinished wood because it was going to be a lot lighter and uh, just got my little saw set up and got me a little stopper there. Just so I can knock these out all at once, keep them all the same length, and then uh, um, 
and pretty much would be done. Um, be nice to get it all together, but the base is pretty much done. Just waiting on the skis and uh, trying to keep it light, trying to be able to transport it. I got a few ideas for that. Um, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some guys that are going to say that's way too heavy, but yeah, we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes, but that's why we, that's why we do it. It's to have fun. So, uh, knocking it out. Hopefully it'll be done today and, uh, uh, it's looking good. Hey, what's up guys? I'm just, uh, going through and pre-drilling my holes all the way through the skis um, with a 964 just to get the screw something to go through and then I'm touching it with the top and I'll zoom in here in a second touching it with the top just going like a millimeter or so down and just enough where I can get just enough where I can get my screw a little clearance and it's down in the screw a little bit or in the ski a little bit. That way when I'm pulling it around, I don't have uh it's not catching on anything. So you'll see here it's kind of down in there just perfect enough so once I hit those screws in there, everything will be flush and uh nothing will be catching. So Welcome back. She's all done. I got her up on the skis and on my dollies that I made with my leftover wood. I was actually able to do it by myself. It wasn't that hard, surprisingly. Everything kind of slid up there perfect. So couple additions since last time. Gotta know how big your fish is, huh? But, yeah. Moves easy, just like that. No problem. Use those to get me to the lake and then it'll just slide right off once I hit the, the lake. Should work out perfect. <laughs> 